guys, Patrick Peter here from Real the Wild, and today we are gonna review the KL62 Plus hunting light. Which was donated to us by the Old Pro company, and they asked us to do the review on the hunting light. So we are going to open this package and uh, we'll give you the honest review as we can. Yes. We are going to open this case and see what everything is inside. So, as we can see, this is our hunting light and uh, I would say it's 7-8 inches long, pretty light, it's not heavy at all. It has the indicator which way the battery is going to go inside and as I can see, this is the switch on top of that and it has a red, white and green where you can switch between the three colors. Big enough lens so you can see a lot and it seems like a pretty good material that it's made out of. It comes with two batteries, two rechargeable lithium batteries which is which is great. I can see the charger uh, for two batteries. Uh, we have what else we have here? Uh, we have the switch for the light. This is going to be mounted on the end of the light and uh, you, can, uh, you can attach this to your rifle and has a has an on button with a plus minus so I'm assuming that will adjust the contrast or the power of the light yeah. when it's uh, turned on. It also comes with a little rope that you can attach to the flashlight and you can put it on your hand so you won't lose it. This is uh, just the uh, charging cable, what goes to the charging port. Uh, what else we have here? It comes uh, with a mount for the light, where you're going to slide your light. And I think the other end, it will be attached on your uh, scope, on a rifle, which we are going to do later on after we go through all this stuff. So that's the mount. And what we got here in the small box, in the small box we have, what is that, Patrick? I would say it's also another mount. It is another mount. And you could probably attach the flashlight right here. And if you have an AR platform, you could put it right at the bottom. It's a P Picatinny rail mount. Also, if you put them together, you could probably put this one on your barrel and you could have the light hang off of the barrel. Yeah. It looks like it. I don't think we're going to use this one. Uh, we are going to use the other one, which is made from the heavy duty plastic. It seems like uh, pretty sturdy, heavy plastic. This is a metal. I don't think I would attach this on my barrel on a gun. Uh, it will probably scratch your barrel or uh, because it's just the metal on the metal. So uh, we'll stay away from that. Anyhow, uh, now we have some instructions. It comes with a user manual and it comes with a product warranty which you have 30 days free replacement 24 uh, months free repair and it has a limited lifetime warranty and then you have uh, o-rings two o-rings but those will go, go right up here to make the flashlight waterproof but we're not going to try that i think the flashlight is going to be good use at the rain and stuff i don't think yeah. you can just go under the water with a flashlight so this is uh this is the flashlight, it's the Old Pro KL62 Plus and uh, uh, we are going to mount it on our A17 and uh, wait for dark to come and uh, we may put it to the test and see how well the flashlight works. In the meantime we also charge, uh, make sure the batteries are fully charged. So let's mount it. Uh, we are going to install one of the batteries in. Plus goes first. Goes nice and smoothly. Slide it in. Slide it in. Let's see if it works. Alright. Oh yeah, it's it a white. Works. So white light. Red light. Okay. And green light. It's great. Uh, the on-off button, uh, it goes very nice and smooth. Just gently press it and it will turn on. And the on-off button, uh, 
you can uh, control the brightness of the light. It goes from the brightest and you can sort of turn it off also with that. Yeah. And that would probably help with the battery if you want to keep it on for a long time. Ah, uh, definitely. All right, let's mount it on our gun. This is our A17, what is in front of us, and we are going to mount the KL62 Plus on top of our rifle scope. This is a semi-automatic uh, rifle. We like, uh, we like to shoot the small games with that, uh, raccoons, uh, foxes, coyotes, and uh, we are hoping to put this light in a test with this rifle, right? Yeah, it shouldn't be that hard. It's just two pieces of plastic. Let's mount it. Two pieces of plastic. Hold it up there. We'll slide the flashlight right through it. And, and tie that in. It. There we go. Okay. Very nice and easy. Very nice and easy. It's sturdy, doesn't move, and you just control it with the switch. It was turned off. Green light. You just control it easy with the switch. And I cannot wait to try it at night and see how well we're going to see with our scope and this flashlight working together. So let's go outside. On our first night testing, we had no idea how the KL62 Plus will perform. We spotted two deers on an open field around 150 yards away. We tried all three colors of the light on them and the visibility of the deers at that distance was very clear. We were doing a set and we saw a raccoon up in the tree and we decided to use the red light on him. We got him on the red light and we blasted him right on the ground. fantastic. There's our raccoon. We used the KL62 Plus with the red light and man that thing does a good job. He showed up that raccoon and it made him shine. The raccoon didn't even know what hit him. We're gonna keep on hunting and we're gonna try to use the red and green light. On our second set we were able to call a red fox. We spotted the eyes with the green light around 300 yards away. The fox came to us within 100 yards, but unfortunately we missed, which has nothing to do with the light. Once again, we set up on a different place. We start calling, and a moment later, we got caught off guard from a fox coming hard from our left side. Which we didn't expect it. We bumped her. And after that, she did not want to come in range. This time, we used the red light, which we are adjusting from brightness lowest to highest. The KL62 Plus was working great for us. With the battery lasting long enough in colder weather, and with the visibility of the light, you can see and identify animals clearly. We're definitely going to use this hunting light again. Thank you, old bro, to giving us the opportunity to do the review on your KL62 Plus. The flashlight, as you can see right here, uh, what Patrick holds, we used that in a few of our hunts, and uh, it worked outstanding. You could see probably 400 yards away, and the durability of the flashlight is pretty strong, and it works awesome. But overall, this flashlight works. Uh, works great and for the 
Predator Hunters, it would be a great addition to have. For me, only thing what I would add to this flashlight would be some kind of quick magnetic uh, attachment where you can quickly attach it to your rifle scope and disconnect. So if you would like to scan the fields, you can have it in your hand so you don't have to swing the rifle and then quickly can put it back on, your, on top of the rifle scope. That would be a great addition for that KL62+. Plus. So Old Pro, something to think about it. But overall, once again, thank you for giving us the opportunity to do the review on your flashlight. We really enjoy it. And uh, hopefully for all of you guys who are asking how well the flashlight works, we can just answer the question that the flashlight works great. Thank you. Thank you.